Good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you're seeing this. My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. That's a nice little slice of heaven right there, isn't it? That's going to be my view for today. I was going to go do some stuff, but I woke up this morning after I was sleeping really good, thinking to myself, what did you have to do today, Rubear? And I'm like, damn, yeah, my schedule is free, except for restocking some OJ and chocolate milk. You know, I'm good. I sold a couple paintings. I have to, by price, all of a sudden, though, I've been selling them for way cheaper. I mean, it's what it is, right? But I think I need to start upping the price on these things because gas is killing me and everything else. So the price of everything just went, just doubled. So God bless you if you can survive right now. Oh, my God. I have three paintings in the work I'm super stoked about. An Orca, a Blue Huron, and what else? What else? Um, ah, Dreamcatcher. And they're all going to be in that kind of style of the butterfly. I'm really, I'm jazzed about the pour. Because I basically, um, hang on a second, let me just show you real quick. I'll give you a tease. This is my Orca. And I'm going to, look at me, I'm just, fuck it. I should have done this in the first place. You know production value, whatever, right? This is going to be my blue Huron. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them flat and pour and do different kind of styles and, and uh, the dream catcher is going to glow in the dark. The center of it, I'm just going to have it glowing. Oh, it's going to be sick. Anyway, this video is not about my art or about the beautiful scenery. Today's topic is the Buddha. And I woke up at 2 this morning, last night, moonlight on the ocean and that's usually God's way of saying we're going to talk about some stuff. So I was thinking about things and um, Buddha, the Buddha came up. <clears throat> and the reason why the Buddha came up, oddly enough, was because the Buddha, Bodhisattva, uh, whatever they called him, Satara, I don't know. But um, the Buddha, when he was born, his mother, was, his mother died, giving birth to him. So talk about suffering. His, his world began began without his mother, the, the prime nur nurturer, right? I mean, he was surrounded, he was a prince surrounded by women and titties, so he had nurturing and, and female comfort, but he didn't have his mother. And there's nobody gonna, nobody, you know what I mean? There's nobody like a mother that's gonna love you, right? Well, supposedly. I'm not gonna get into it, not every mother is like that, but the idea of a mother is to nurture and that that connect that bond you know is sacred and he was born without her which was interesting and it's talked about in ultimate suffering in that app but then i thought about that and as he grew up he was given the choice of becoming the conqueror or the 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 spiritual leader and he chose the spiritual path instead of the conqueror path and that there was consequences for that action because he became the spiritualist and he didn't choose to conquer the world, his, his family was slaughtered by uh, marauding warriors or whatever. Ban you know, another kingdom came in and just basically killed his family. His father, his wife, his child, they left behind, which was another interesting aspect. This guy at 30 decided he's just going to bail and leave his wife and kid for a new child. And of course, the idea was the anchor. The idea was that if he stayed here, he would be trapped in that life and that cycle, and he would not, um, he would never obtain enlightenment because he would, you know, he would, the trappings of the world would have him. And so he ran off and, to, you know, to suffer and to do his, you know, meditations, whatever, and, and to starve himself and all the other fun stuff, and to suffer as much as he could to find enlightenment. <clears throat> but yeah, it's still kind of shitty when you think about it, right? Dead be dead kind of in a way. I'm not saying the Buddha was what it, what it, what it, it is what it is, right? But I, and the, here's the thing, as I thought about that, not only was he dealing with childhood trauma and dealing with ancestral curses by way of like the warring tribes and that kind of thing, and becoming the conqueror, which he chose not to be, but the moment he became enlightened under that tree, when he was was a childhood memory of sitting at a festival watching ants playing on the ground and becoming, you know, just the compassion and the, the 
and it's like the world opened up to him. But he had to go back to his childhood. And that's, I think, the connection I'm trying to make here today. With self-love, with self-empowerment, it has to do with ancestor curses, for one thing, you, a lot of people don't realize that exists. And then, they're basically the childhood traumas that you have, that, that basically make you who you are in this world. And if you don't understand the childhood traumas, which, you know, I, found, I figured my stuff out the hard way. I had to go deep down, desert, hardcore, you know, mental soul searching and meditation. And like I said, last summer, I was getting to the childhood traumas and I was, I was tapping into my inner child and I was flying kites and I was building sculptures on the beach of, of sea monsters flying kites. But that was the beginning of me finding the, 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 the key, the, that thing, that my childhood trauma that basically was holding me back, was keeping me from my, tapping into my power. And last summer when I was here, I actually got a glimpse of it when I was up at Moloch um, Bluff. I was sitting there and I was just deep thought, meditating, you know, doing the thousand, thousand yard stare. And, and it was there, right there. It was, I could grasp it. I had a childhood. It was just something about my childhood and I just started thinking about what happened. And, and then, the, of course, the summer was the breakthrough. When it was the, it was the conditioning, the mental conditioning as a child. There's different variations of it, but still you're mentally conditioned to be a slave. You're mentally conditioned to, to accept a job at Walmart or McDonald's with glee. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with getting a job and earning your keep, right? But, but maybe you were meant for something more. But that's all they tell you you're worth, is you're worth a job at McDonald's or a gas station attendant, but you're not worth a, a Picasso. You know, you're not worth a Da Vinci. You're not a Da Vinci. You know, it's like, you'll never be that good. Can you imagine somebody saying that to their child? You're never gonna be that good. Just accept your lot in life and just suck it up. But there are people that do that. There are caste systems in this world. India is a great example of a caste system that I just find disgusting. They literally believe that certain people are beneath them. You go to India and talk to Indians, people from India, and they will tell you there's caste systems. There's rich, there's poor, and then there's just shit, beggars. And it's sad because that's not how it's supposed to be. Especially when you're you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the religion is there so much as it, as a, you know, Buddhist as much as, um, what is it? Um, I can't even think of them right now. But, you know, there's so many different religions and, and, and thought processes and traditions and beliefs that people are in that don't allow them to heal personally, individually, as a, as a personal entity separate from the unit, right? You become a part of the unit and you're stuck in that cycle of toxic energy and toxic behavior and and the bring up of the Buddha was an amazing thought last night. I was just like the Buddha actually struggled. He actually had childhood childhood traumas and he had the breakthrough. When he had his childhood trauma breakthrough is when he found enlightenment. So I think we're all capable of that and 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 getting in touch with your inner child and healing your inner child is how you obtain enlightenment. That's just my theory, my thought. And hopefully that's the truth because that would be awesome so with that hope you like the paintings or teases but anyway i love you god loves you and the universe is an amazing place and study the buddha you never know you might find there's a documentary on pbs or you can find it on on youtube about the buddha it's really interesting anyway have a wonderful day and yeah love you bye